Hello, everybody! Good morning, good morning! Every time I feel like I just say good morning, I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what time of the day it is, but I know it's homestyle cookery time! Okay? It's homestyle cookery time. New York Times best selling. Have, have you guys got this yourselves? Do you guys have this? Did you buy it for a loved one? Did you get it for the person at Christmas that really wants it? Somebody needs it. Somebody needs it. Shall we? Fingerling Potato Supreme. Okay? This is a no to you know what. You know, the Taco Bell. I'll say it. Taco Bell. Fries Supreme. In Canada. And I'm okay with that. Everyone loves nachos. Everyone loves Fries Supreme. Making fries at home is pretty fucking annoying. Yeah. But making this at home, guess what? Super easy. Uh, smash fingerlings are incredible food. So this whole dish is just a giant, you're welcome to your family, friends, children, loved ones, dog, cat, fish, or iguanas. If you're into that kind of thing, all are welcome. These beautiful fingerling potatoes. Beautiful fingerling, see this? They look like a finger, fingerling potatoes. Really incredible. They're like mini Yukon Golds. They're so sweet, so buttery. They fry up amazing, they cook quickly. And I'm just gonna, we're gonna crank this up. We're gonna get it boiling. I'm gonna throw in a couple handfuls of fingerling potatoes. And sometimes different sizes, different shapes, it's okay. Try to find ones that are all kind of similar size so they cook the same. One more. So, that's boiling. Should we add some salt? Sure. Let's get some salt in there. Good old glug of salt. You're gonna cook for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you can do anything in 10 minutes. They can rob a bank, usually in 90 seconds. You can steal a car in 60 seconds. There's so many things you could do in seconds. And this is gonna take 10,000 seconds. How many seconds, how many seconds are in a minute? 60 seconds in one minute. Incredible. So there's 60 seconds in one minute. And in 10 of those times six, that's 600 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should I be mississippi -ing? Okay, I'm gonna make a cheese sauce real quick, okay? For this milk, on medium heat, we are gonna take a half a cup. We're gonna bring that up to temperature. We're gonna add cheese. Look at that beautiful cheese. We're gonna have cheese. We're gonna add some mustard. So I'm kind of making a queso. This is Maddie's really easy, simple, fucking cheap way to make uh, cheese, cheese, uh, queso. So I just warm up enough milk just to melt cheese. Take some cheese, melt it in the cheese. Just rip it up. Just rip it up. It's like ripping up that that like love letter from that that, that person in high school. They're like, ah, they don't love me anymore. And you write them a, like a love letter, and you're like. That person kissed Bobby! That's this. This is this is the love letter of life. Rip up that love letter of life. Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. And this is the easiest one because we've got no flour. You know, you don't have to make a roux or anything. You want to keep it moving because you don't want to scorch the bottom. No scorchies. So once your cheese sauce is nice and drizzlers, boom, we're going to put in just a little mustard. You know, a couple, like, you know, one good tablespoon. We're just gonna blend that in. That'll bring out that mustard. So we have achieved our beautiful queso. Like this is the consistency I'm looking for. I want it to be a little bit of a drizzler. Look at that. Da -da -da -da. Now what we gotta do, we're gonna chop up half our jalapenos. Yeah, do a little chop, chop, chop. Boom, into the queso pickled jalapenos. Even, hey, a little bit of the vinegar. Boop. Now stir that in, oh yeah. We're gonna cut up a one eye white onion. So I'm gonna dice up half an onion. We got an onion. I'm gonna add half of this to our queso. The rest is gonna be for the garnet leash. The garnish. Got our onion dice. Gonna put that into a bowl. Let's chop up the rest of our jalapenos. Same as before, just give them a rough chop. Then we just need some green onion. Ba Boom. Just cut the little stems off. I'm gonna cut them in half. Then I'm gonna slice them all up, okay? And then by cutting them in half and cutting them all together, they kind of mix up the whites and the greens. 
Some people just like the green, some people like just the whites. I like both. We got some cilantro. Make sure you always wash your cilantro. There's a lot of um, sand is in them. The same as the green onions, put them in with the leaves. Roll it all kind of up like this and then run your knife over. And what you'll get is such an amazing end product and it's just such a nice way to have crunch. We got our garnishes, cilantro, green onion, white onion, pickled jalapenos. Let's check these potatoes once again. Yeah, so this is perfect. Just take them out. Obviously I'm a professional. I could just take out boiling hot potatoes and keep them in my hands. Maybe don't do that. I don't know, or do that, whatever. All I'm looking for, if I can push, watch. I'm just pushing lightly on the skin, and I can tell that these are cooked through. So, let's just get those out of the boiling water. Let's take them, just put them onto a plate. We're gonna take them, take a knife, or a spatula even, and we're just gonna push them down like that. You don't wanna break them apart too much, and you just wanna push them flat, okay? And then we're just gonna let them kinda hang out. And we're just gonna push them down a little bit. If you wanted, you could cook these like the day before, if you wanted to, and then just smush them and then fry them. But the biggest thing is you wanna make sure that there's, they're steamed off and there's no moisture left on them when you fry them up because you don't wanna get all spritzy. And if they break apart a little bit, that's fine because they're just gonna get nice and crispy. Now, look at that. That's perfect right there. So once again, you want like medium high heat oil. Now, be careful, this may get splattery. We're gonna fry up our potatoes. We're just gonna lay these down. We're gonna fry up our fingerling potatoes. So nice, so beautiful. These are gonna get so crispy. These are the ultimate, ultimate fries. So what I'm gonna do now too is I wanna, I'm gonna season these just right in the pan. Ba ba ba, salt. Lots of salt. I want it salty. Nothing better than crispy, salty, you know, fingerling potatoes. We're gonna wait for these to get nice and golden brown. Oh, coming along, crispy fingerling potatoes supreme. Okay, we're golden brown, we're gonna flip these over. Beautiful, golden, crispy skin, molten mashed potato in the middle. Once again, I'm just gonna do a little seasoning right into the pan, right on top of these crispy, popping, beautiful potatoes. All right, here we go. Boom, look at that. And that's exactly what we wanna be looking for. We're just gonna take these right out of the fryer. We're just gonna load them up on the plate. Now we got our beautiful cheese sauce and the start drizzling. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at that, now. So we got our crispy, Fingerling potatoes. All those nooks and crannies filled. Now, just a little more. I want more jalapeno, more onion, green onion, all the crunches. Break down that rich queso, cilantro. Now look at that. You know, if you wanted to add a big pile of chili on top of this, or some braised beef, or anything. Oh my God, everybody! Fry, what do we got here? I don't even know. It's so good. What do we got? Fry, fingerling fry supreme? Look at this potato. This crispy, completely covered cheesy. It's everything you want in your mouth. Everything I make literally is fire. I wish people could taste like my cooking. I know you guys at home make your shit the way that you think you make it good. The way I make it, it's so cracking. You're crazy. Okay, I'm Maddie Matheson. Homestyle Cookery is number one. Number one cookbook in the world, besides a couple of cookbooks. So it's like the number one cookbook in the world besides a couple of cookbooks. Homestyle Cookery. Fries are great.